just meeting you the day before. Mm -hmm. And I like like you guys, but I just feel like everything happened like so fast. It's funny, it was last week when they were proposing the whole idea of, you know, getting serious real quick. I said that her response was a nervy response. And even in the cutscene later on, she did say that, you know, she had to kind of like respond on, on, on just, just, just the pressure of the fact that, you know, Shane and Ashley are so demanding. Whoa, Shane is so demanding, should I say. Ashley is not as much. And then obviously we now fast forward to this week where, well, <laughs> she's now saying her truth. She said, time to go away. Really think about it. Get her words together. Therefore, she can now deliver the news. Let's check it out. You know, to your point of, you know, you, you said that you guys get attached really quickly, you know. You know, see, this bit here was, was made clear from the very get-go. And really, truly, it was her fault for not really taking that piece of information too seriously. So to bring it up now has, okay, you guys are at fault for getting attached too quickly isn't really fair. I'm just saying. That's not something that Ashley and Shane were ever like secretive about. That's something that they were open about from the very get go, especially Shane. No, I don't think it's fair to say, you know, because we get attached, you have to create this attachment by being in a relationship. I completely agree, but at the same time, I don't think it's fair that you decided to, to, to go along with it knowing that you wasn't ready. Can you see Trying this or, or you don't? Um, you know, being 100% honest with you, no. I can't believe she did that. What kind of person gives you false hope and then f***ing rips it out from right in front of you? I'm not gonna lie, at first when I watched this, I was like, yo, Shane, relax. Like, you're doing too much. Like, it's not that deep. But then the more I thought about it and the more I watched it again, I was like, you know what? I agree with you. She did give you false hope because she had opportunities to say, hey, this isn't for me. But she never did that. She was like, yeah, 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 yeah. And then boom, bam. She then decides to change her mind. So to be fair, I would say, even though I've been quite critical of Shane being so demanding, being so direct and all that kind of stuff, either way though, he made things clear, abundantly clear, and uh, those things wasn't listened to. Like they're kind of falling in place a little bit. We had our, our beautiful and healthy baby boy, and I also got my uh, cancer screen back, and it, it came back, and it was, it was good. Now, on more positive news, cancer free, which is fantastic. They've had their baby boy, which is fantastic. But I will say this though, the fact that he was going through something or they were going through, uh, uh, you know, something very, very serious, you know, such as cancer. I don't believe that they should have really ever prioritized. I'm not saying they prioritized it, but I don't really believe that they should have ever really been in a search or looking for a, a girlfriend or maybe a wife for Ashley personally. I reckon that, you know, all of their energy should have been focused on two things. One, the pregnancy and two, his health, you know, and to be honest, the fact that they still found time to make the pregnant to, to make this seeking sister wife thing somewhat of a priority isn't a bad thing but i personally think that they should have really focused on those things first because you know shane did say earlier on one of the reasons why he's why he why he wants to bring someone in he wants to and why he vets women so the way he does is because he wants to make sure that you know if he does have cancer that uh, he leaves his wife with somebody that's going to be able to look after his wife which I completely understand, but at the same time, though, now you found out you're not, you haven't got cancer anymore, thankfully. Where do, what does this mean now for you two? Are you still going to be actively looking for a woman to come into your lives and be a part of, you know, obviously Ashley's life? Or is it going to be a thing where you're now going to settle down? So my point is that they should have really found out the information that they needed first regarding his health, you know, as well as also her delivering a baby, and then knowing, okay, now what do we want? Because I do wonder if Shane had, if it, if they, if the woman had stuck around and then Shane obviously was clear, which he obviously is, would that have changed things? Because everything that we was told was based on the fact that, yeah, he, hey, his actions are based on the fact he wants to leave his wife with somebody he can trust and rely on. So the question is, what if, what would have happened if she stuck around knowing that you're okay now? You said him saying, and also, now that he's in a position where he knows he's healthy, he knows he's going to be the first wife, he knows he's going to be there for, 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 their, for their child. The question is, this, if they are going to still seek another woman, are they going to do things different now? Is he going to be so pushy-pushy like he was before, wanting things now, 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 or is he now going to be relaxed? Because, you see, if the approach is now going to be relaxed because he knows that he's got plenty more time on this earth, but then really and truly, it's kind of sad because the woman that you two just obviously was dating, or whatever, or your wife was dating, whatever, 
Maybe things would have worked with that more relaxed approach. Maybe she'd still be in the picture. Maybe, who knows? But to be fair at the same time, that is not to say that they were wrong to go about what, how they went about, you know, obviously their storyline with this young lady here because clearly this young lady here anyway was never ready for them regardless because she just wanted being something that is, you know, exclusive just yet. So really and truly, they did still dodge a bullet regarding her 1000%. But I'm just saying that, um, you know, with things all being different. But I hope if we do see them again for another season, because obviously the season's nearly over now anyway, I think about five, four or five episodes left, I'm not too sure. Um, I would like to see them now, you know, go with a new approach, a fresh approach. You know what I'm saying? An approach that may actually work. Because I do like Shane, actually. You know, I have no issue with them. I just, just say change is a bit too much at times. You know what I mean? But I hope now, now they can go about it in the way that's needed. You see know what I'm saying? Nonetheless, though, that's just my opinion. Let me know what you think down below in the comment section. We can also talk about it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course, peace.